Hey guys, uh, my name is Betsy. My name is Mike. Yep, and we're the youth directors here at Sydney First. So I know I was supposed to go online with y'all on Wednesday, but things get a little crazy around here and around the world right now. So I, it, I don't know, it's just really an excuse because I've really done nothing for- I was gonna say, you, you don't have an excuse. I mean, you just finally put your hair up in a ponytail. You're wearing, wearing sweatpants for a week. <laughs> I know, you guys, that is really true. I don't remember last time I put makeup on or a pair of jeans, so I've just kind of been enjoying it. But here's something so cool, too. Like, I have been watching movies nonstop, and the other night I was laying in bed, and I was like, what am I going to talk to the teenagers about? What, you know, what can I talk to them about? And I can all the only thing that kept going through my mind was Forrest Gump. Seriously, listen, do you realize, like, Forrest Gump has, like, so many quotes that I think you could pull so much, like, Christian lessons in it. Come on, give me a Forrest Gump quote and I can do it. Hmm. Forrest Gump quote. Um, well, let's see. There's the one. Shoot, I can't remember the f first one I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> Come on, do you remember it? I, I, I know there's one that Jenny says. Uh-huh. Where she's like, run, Forrest, run. I know there's one. Run towards God. See? Oh. Woo! Okay, give me another one. Um, let's see. Uh, life is like a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get. Okay, that's probably the most famous Forrest Gump quote. But uh, you guys, listen. Did you ever get, you remember getting like a surprise or did you, anyone ever send you chocolates before? And you know how they had all the different uh, flavors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you loved it when you got a caramel. But then like if you didn't get a caramel, you're like, oh no, what, what is this? Yes. Put it back in or you threw it away. I know, I know. So don't don't tell my parents this, but yeah, no, yeah. when I was a little girl, I used to take the candies and I and I always had like long fingernails and I would poke the bottom of the chocolates and I would look to see I know, That's to so see wrong. I know, That's I know so it was, but I never wanted to like eat the that I don't even know what kind of cream that is, that nuggets. I don't know what it was. It, but it was so oh, yeah. gross and I didn't like it. But you guys, did you know that Forrest Gump? Life is like a box of chocolates and you never wish again. That's a great lesson. Because even like right now with this whole coronavirus, you never know what life is going to throw at you. And so I feel like sometimes life throws us those great sweet caramels. But then sometimes life throws you a nasty cherry cordial, right? Whoa, whoa. those cordials are delicious. I love those things. Do you really? You like cherry cordials? Oh man, they're good. Okay, but again... What God has planned for my life may not necessarily well, be what God has planned for Mike. So true. I may enjoy the caramels and you may enjoy the cherry cordials. But that the same thing is, is that God still has this great plan, even though we're all like mixed in this chocolate. That's true. That's interesting because Jeremiah in a letter to, to the exiles um, says in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you. And not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Right. So right now as we're going through this, and we do miss you guys so much, mm -hmm. um, we can't wait to get back on Wednesday nights. But I need you guys to know a few things. So God has a plan. And he has a plan that's going to prosper for you and not harm you. So it may not feel that way all the time, but it's true. And we have to hold on to that hope. Um, just a big squirrel moment too. Do you realize like, we are all like chocolates, like mixed in one box because I've obviously I'm a sweet caramel and you're a nasty cordial, but God still loves the nasty cherry cordial too. So even though we're all different, we're still packaged by the same company, which is God. Mm -hmm. I so want a box of chocolates right now. You guys, I asked my kids and went through their bedrooms trying to find chocolate <laughs> so, I could do the, so I could did. do this segment. They're like, mom, you just want to eat candy. I was like, I know, I'm supposed to be on that sugar fast. Mm-hmm, as I drink that. Okay, yeah. but anyway, so God does have a great plan for all of you guys. Um, we just have to hold on to that hope. And so as next time as you're watching Forrest Gump and you hear him say, life is like a box of chocolates, you can remember that God has it all. Today, uh tomorrow... And the future. We should have practiced this a few more times. Yeah. Sometimes when I stop talking, that's my segue for you to say something. I just figure you're taking a breath. 
Probably. All right. So that's really all that we have. Um, I don't know. Now I just keep thinking of Lieutenant Dan in my head. But anyway, so you guys, um, short and sweet. Life's like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. But we have to hold on to the hope that God um, does have a plan for you. Now, I'm gonna switch gears real quick. Um, so one of my friends was talking about Zoom and doing Zoom meetings. So Mike and I are gonna start a Bible study with you guys on Wednesday nights. Um, anybody can come. I'm definitely gonna gear it towards, obviously, Crossfire. So listen to your one call now, you guys, because we're gonna shoot out your Zoom meeting number. I'm gonna get all that set up um, probably tomorrow. So we can start doing that. Maybe we'll do it once or twice. Um, we're going to talk about prayer and what is it? why is prayer important in our lives and even how do we pray? Because sometimes I feel like we all get stuck on prayer and we feel like we have to have these elegant words and really that's not what God wants. God just wants a relationship with you. So we're going to start that um, through the Zoom meetings. We have no idea when we're coming back or anything like that. But again, reach out to Mike or I. Um, even just tell us how you're doing. I may start stalking some of you as well. So... Because I miss you. Okay. Do you have anything else? No, I'm a man of few words. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, um, listen for your one call now. We love you. We hope you guys are doing great. We are praying for all of you and your families, and we will talk to you later. Yep. See you guys. You got to hit the button. I know that.